is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a what I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of February 13th to the 19th. Again, that's February 13th to the 19th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? Speaking of support, if y'all would like to... Uh, you can purchase a copy of my book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal. This is the cover right here. It's about my time in the classroom as an empath, as a teacher, and how I dealt with that particular situation. It is a page-turning read. It is one that will make you scratch your head, laugh, and say some choice words, but I am sure that you will enjoy the read, okay? Thank you to all of you guys who have supported me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who will consider supporting me, thank you again. The links will be listed below uh, where you can purchase the actual book in paperback and ebook format, okay? So let's get into this week's reading for the collective. So I'm going to let y'all know, energetically speaking, cosmologically, cosmologically speaking, and the astrology backs it up, it's going to be a week of where you can't rule with an iron fist, whether you're at work, in your nine to five job, in the office, at home. Or in your friendship groups. You can't do that. You're going to be in a position where you're going to be dealing with people who are going to have heightened sensitivities this week. Or it could be you that will be feeling extra sensitive during this week. So you got to take heed of that, okay? Um, for some people, I don't care if you are trying to work with them and, and be cooperative and and reciprocate their energy they're still going to have a problem with you and they're still going to feel like you're just trying to rule them with an iron fist or you may feel that way it could be vice versa or interchangeable okay just take it how it resonates for you i'm not gonna lie uh for those of y'all who have valentine's day plans th this week you might want to try to plan something for the weekend because it might if you do it during the week with the daily grind of the week just in general of all the stuff you have to do during the week it might make you feel like you're exhausted and wiped out and have one more thing to add to your to-do list and you don't want your especially your significant other or whoever you're going to be spending that day with if you celebrate it to feel like uh you're they're just an item you have to check off a list okay so be mindful of that so like i said the advice to get you through the week don't rule with an iron fist or don't take heed to other people's feelings and check yourself you know before you do something that you might regret if you have plans for valentine's day you might want to do it on the weekend where you're more relaxed where the energies can flow and you can be present and not focused on work or what happened in the the week the work week okay uh, the top astrological event for this week will be on wednesday okay so you're going to have Venus conjunct with Neptune and Pisces squaring the moon in Sagittarius, okay? So this is going to be a day where the energies are going to be overflowing. They're going to be, the energy is going to be like dreamy, romantic sentiments. And some people could get their egos bruised, like especially people, by people who are what people in society would consider to be insensitive, okay? So just somebody might say that you're insensitive but you're not okay <laughs> or maybe you will be take it how it resonates for you okay so we're going to get into the astro cards and then we will get into the tarot and an oracle card okay for the collective all right spirit what additional energies will the collective be working with golly <laughs> wow that intimacy card popped up let me see wow in the sixth house okay so some of y'all might be trying to get busy i'm just saying <laughs> this week of valentine's i'm just saying but uh hmm, that's interesting additional me messages or energies that the collector will be working with during this week let's see starting out the ninth house seeking foreign travel adventure higher education customs faith belief pilgrimages spiritual quests, aspirations, journalism, religion, gurus, and risk-taking. Well, all righty then. That's opening up the week. <laughs> oh, 12th house, surrender. Subconscious, mind, compassion, dreams. I told y'all that Neptune energy, that's about dreams as well. Uh, karma, forgiveness, baggage, trans states, the unseen, healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, and Akashic records. So it's going to be, like I said, interesting this week. Gemini, the butterfly. Curious, communic 
communicative, versatile, flexible, variety seeking, social collaborative, brilliant, perceptive, connected, vocal, adaptive, street smart, mobile, studious, superficial, restless, and fidgety. Chiron, healing. Okay. Healing powers, growth, amends, release, personal development, inherited issues, self doubt, generational trauma. Shame, sensitivity, forgiveness, superpowers, divinity, cleansing, softness, and pain. Wow. All right. Virgo, the alchemist. I knew that was going to come out with the ninth house sitting there um, with that seeking. The hermit seeks and goes within to seek, seek the answers that they've been searching for. Method, method, I can't talk. Methodology methodical <laughs> excuse me aligned ritualistic efficient insightful healthy dutiful discerning witchy soul pure refined accurate solitary curatorial critical nervous and perfectionist okay that virgo energy okay saturn how did i know that that was going to come on that well with the 12th house and 9th house in virgo all right now wisdom Discipline, structure, time, responsibility, tests, ambitions, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. And one final card. Can't make this stuff up. Venus. Love. Remember I told y'all Venus will be conjuncting Neptune and Pisces. Square in the moon and Sagittarius, you can't make this stuff up. And I think when I split the deck, Sagittarius was on one side, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Venus love, beauty, harmony, romance, charm, receiving, sensuality, luxury, wealth, diplomacy, magnetism, value, pleasure, adornment, adoration, attraction, indulgence, taste, and style. Like I told you, this is the seven cards. So at the end of the week or during the weekend, y'all might want to make y'all plans for valentine's day if you choose to celebrate okay and look who's at the bottom of the deck taurus the bombshell is ruled by venus that's taurus's ruling planet earthy practical steadfast productive fertile tactile ample worthy ripe pleasure seeking sensuous blooming solid possessive tenacious loyal patient and deliberate okay so let's get into the tarot okay all right Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of February 13th to the 19th of some 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 of y'all may feel misunderstood during this week like you can't vocalize your thoughts and someone else might take it the wrong way whatever it is you're saying or doing and hmm, it, it's gonna be kind of wonky for you so keep that in mind during the week during the course of the week just saying all right starting out ten of wands okay King of Pentacles. All right. The Hermits came back out. You can't make this stuff up. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> I'm laughing. If y'all know Tarot, the devil came out. The devil is ruled by Saturn. Okay. That's why I'm laughing, y'all. And the star, that's lovely. That's healing energy, Aquarius, and Chiron. And the king of cups rounded on out at the bottom of the deck patience <laughs> the eight of pentacles building something up ruled by virgo okay wow all right um for a lot of y'all it's like y'all been building and building and building and building or healing or working on some things within yourself or literally trying to build something for yourself in your career and your romantic endeavors and your friendship groups whatever the case may be applied to you it's like the culmination of that. Y'all study working on it, study healing the things that you need to work on, study building the things that you need to build. 
and you're going to see some fruits of your labor. But for some of y'all, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster during this week. But you can get through it, okay? I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all might have been dealing with different issues and burdens that you, or things that you see as burdens in your life. And I feel like you're going to be overcoming that. You're going to be closing out that cycle because you're going to be going within yourself and actually dealing with what with whatever issues or problems you may have had in the past, okay? You're facing it head on and you're moving forward. For some of y'all, y'all breaking through this glass ceiling at work or this perceived glass ceiling and working in life and you're going to be moving forward and the king of pentacles right here um if i'm looking at this correctly this is jupiter and taurus but the king of pentacles is taurus virgo and capricorn but i feel like a lot of y'all are going to be having your breakthroughs and you're going to be getting that security that you've been seeking out whether it be spiritually whether it be monetarily wise because the king of pentacles is all about monetary things you're going to be finding it for a lot of y'all y'all going to be having a breakthrough in your finances and in your spirituality because you've been working at it not with the eight of pentacles here okay i feel like for a lot of y'all it's like you've been seeking something spiritually financially but for the most part i feel like some of y'all have really been seeking spiritually and you're going to see the benefits of it whether it be in the physical realm 3d realm or in the spirit realm you're going to get those blessings that you have been seeking or the knowledge that you have been seeking you're going to alchemize it and bring it to fruition in your life some in some way shape or form okay with the hermit energy right here spirit confirms it with <laughs> with the alchemist right there that's the hermit virgo okay this is virgo energy okay um, for some of y'all, it's like whatever you need to vocalize, like I said, be careful because some people might take your words or your actions in the wrong way or vice versa during this week. But you can be astute. You can be uh, straightforward with people, but you really have to walk a fine line because somebody might take your words and try to use them against you or twist them when you're trying to use your words or your thoughts or your feelings or your actions to heal something or to bring people back together okay like i told you especially in the work <laughs> the work sector or even in your own personal relationships somebody can say oh what you said cut me down or what you said hurt my feelings chiron healing energy it's like you're not saying things to hurt someone's feelings you're actually saying these things to give yourself clarity or give them clarity like I said, it can be taken in the wrong context, uh, especially if somebody is in their feelings or very emotional or being triggered or someone's triggering you. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? With the devil, Capricorn energy, I really feel like y'all are just trying to use the knowledge and the wisdom that you've gained from the previous lessons. Hello, the wisdom, Saturn energy that you've gained from the past. And people are like, I don't want to hear that. That's a toxic thing to bring up the past or whatever. And you're like, wait a minute. I'm just trying to show you how I moved through a situation that was particularly triggering or toxic for me and how I'm using that to move forward and educate other people and share that wisdom with them. Like I said, whether it be at work, whether it be in your friendship groups or in your familiar group, your family dynamics, everybody's not gonna want to heal it although hear it excuse me hmm, or heal it for some of y'all with that chiron energy there even though it'll be beneficial to both or all parties involved it, they're gonna feel like you're just picking on them or how dare you do this because a lot of people they're comfortable in their chaos for some of them they're comfortable in their ignorance or they don't want you to point out stuff that they know that they should be doing, they should be releasing, they should be letting go of or trying to change. They comfortable where they at. So for some of y'all, y'all got to leave people where they at and move forward, okay? Continue to work on you, and when they're ready, they'll be able to do it for themselves. Sure. Speaking of doing it for themselves and meeting people where they are, scaffolding, meeting people where they are and if they're not ready to receive what you have to say let it go have the emotional intelligence to say okay i gave you what i needed to give you and if you don't take it that's on you okay a lot of y'all some people are going to take heed to the advice or the warnings that you give them 
or the healing that you're trying to give them and yourself okay don't leave yourself out of it but for others of y'all you're gonna be like okay you know what either they heard me or they didn't some people even when you tell them the truth they're not ready to accept it and you're just gonna have to have the emotional intelligence to say you know what I can love you, or I can appreciate you from afar, I can pray for you for some of y'all who do that from afar, and I have to get on with what with life or whatever you have to get on with. For some of y'all, like I said, somebody might misunderstand your intentions at work, and in your family, you know, in your relationship, romantic relationship dynamics, in your friendship groups, that's okay. Some of us, we hate to be misunderstood, but at the same time, you can't convince somebody who has their mind set on making you the villain or the bad guy or whatever whatever term you want to put in in that blank you put it in there you have to have enough intelligence emotional intelligence intelligence and enough wherewithal to say you know what when they're able to pick up on what you were giving to them then they'll be able to say hey you know what you were right or some for some of y'all that's hard for y'all because a lot of people that you deal with they might not be able to say you were right for what you told them or you were right to try to uh not be like rule with an iron fist over them but you were right in the advice you were giving them okay interesting okay spirit to close up this reading for the collective for the week of the 13th to the 19th of 2023 for february what additional message or messages do you have for the collective let's see here all right you can't make this freaking stuff up higher love and what wisdom that's venus and saturn hathor set and was yet okay and two the sacred relationship canoe so back horror segment and the sphinx let me get this out of the book because it's been like 50 11 years since i worked with these cards like the you know since i learned the meaning so let me go into them with the book y'all bear with me let's see Oh, for sacred relationship. The master craftsman Kanum fashions the new human on his potter's wheel. Horus and Sobek hold the tension of opposites and come into reconciliation and acceptance of each other's gifts. Sekhmet offers her fiery, fierce compassion to transform the polarized heart so that forgiveness and sacred purpose can emerge. The Sphinx as the earth altar conveys cosmic wisdom there go that word again okay <laughs> into the awakening heart in your interaction with this composite consider what you are constructing in your life in your relationships and other situations look at the possible reconciliations that transform polarities and conflict and how you can reflect the actions of these allies as you deeper as you find deeper understanding compassion and or forgiveness within yourself that's the hermit ninth house virgo the alchemist that's that chiron healing saturn venus but a lot of y'all y'all have to find compassion and forgiveness within yourself and outside of yourself with others whether you have to do that directly or indirectly okay wowzers that was basically the gist of the reading okay then so that's all i have for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i will see you lovely people in the next video bye guys